issues here. It looks like they counted down, then they went to black, but they come back up. Welcome to In the Hangar. I'm Dan Milliken. And I'm Christy Wong. Okay, so today we've got a special season four kickoff here. We've got Dean Syracuse Cusa of Flying Eyes. Dean, thank you so much for really, coming. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Nice, nice to see you. See you. Okay, so we're kicking off season four here, and uh, I want to tell our audience something that's really critical that you guys need to know. Christy and I, we get approached, um, it's starting to get more and more as the channel's Fairly been Fairly regularly now. Yeah, with people wanting us to endorse their products um, or people who want to sponsor. And I'm here to tell you that Christy and I take this very seriously. We do not endorse or back a product that we don't personally believe in. I mean, Christy, when we look at these, you believe in these so much, you went out and bought a pair. Yeah, I did actually. After we first met with Dean, uh, I decided to give him a try and I did a little bit of research and um, I went ahead and bought them full price, got no discount and I can't tell you, these are actually the, the glasses that I bought. So I actually brought them to show. And we'll get into that in a <laughs> yeah. minute. So I just want to let the audience know for you guys watching, um, Christy and I will always, always tell you when we're being sponsored. We'll, you know, we want there to be a very transparent level of, of, of the endorsements and, and products that we use. So having said that, Dean, we believe in this. We love this product. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself sure. and how you got started doing sunglasses? Well, <clears throat> I've been a pilot for more than 20 years now. And uh, one of the things that always bothered me under uh, a modern headset is uh, the pain and pressure that you get from standard temples and noise leaks. You know, a modern headset uh, uses two things, uh, both uh, electronic noise cancellation and clamping force. And uh, regular glasses interfere with that. And it really is... Um, it's it's very annoying and, and uh, annoying enough that I spent several years and came up with a solution and introduced Flying Eyes. Um, our our latest versions have a unique material. It's it's part of our patent uh, that can be molded a millimeter thin and totally unbreakable. Mm -hmm. And so it's not just the the uh, that thinness and that flexibility, but it's also the shape. It actually goes around your head, not your, doesn't go around your ears. So when you actually are wearing your headset, you can just slide them on and off. You don't actually have to move your headset or adjust it or uh, interfere with it at all. Um, and that's, that's part of the, their solution. Okay. Yeah. What I go back to over and over again is how easy it is to put these on and off, like, you know, put them on and take them off when I'm flying. They just slide right underneath my headset and I lose virtually none of the noise canceling properties of my Bose headset. It's not a, it's, people think, well, they're just plastic frames. Well, they're not. It, it's like saying, uh, uh, you know, any kind of plastic can be used for anything. And this is a very specific material that we use that can be molded this thin. Regular sunglass frames, if they were molded this thin, they would, they would deform and break and they would, they would not last. Uh, this material is uh, primarily used in aerospace and it uh, requires much higher heat and pressure to, to mold, uh, but the result is that it's going to always stay in that shape and you can, you can put them on under your headset or helmet and not feel them at all. And, and this is why, uh, I mean, some of the, and we're going to cover this in a little bit, but, yeah. you know, uh, when I often see on the, the social media forums is, um, does anybody recommend some sunglasses? Of course, I see you know, them all and, the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I see them all the time. Yeah. And I go in and say flying eyes. Yeah. Occasionally somebody will say, oh, those are really expensive. Right. But there's a reason. Right. That they're expensive. That's right. They, they, the, the material that we use is is. Uh, a very high-end uh, polymer that isn't, it's, it's one of the most expensive polymers out there. Um, and it takes a lot to produce these. Um, they're also engineered specifically for this use. Pilots, motorcyclists, anybody that wears a helmet or headset. Um, this frame style actually is used primarily uh, by the majority of US Air Force Special Ops Squadrons now, actually, as of the last year and a half, uh, they're all wearing these. Um, this is actually a safety rated frame. And, uh, and so it's not only the pilots in, in Air Force uh, 
uh, special ops squadron aircraft like a C-130 gunship, but it's also the air crews. We actually have clear lens versions of these because they're legitimate safety glasses. Well, let me tell you, I've been flight instructing full-time for the past six months, and I have tried to break these over and over again. Not intentionally, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's just the I wear these every single day. These are my daily wearing sunglasses. Yep. I can't tell you how many times I've had these on top of my head yep. and I step up and hit my head into the flap of a Cessna. Right. right. Um, and they I mean, they fall off. They they're yep. on the ground and I'm thinking, oh, great. I mean, I used to go through the cheaper sunglasses probably once sure. a month, once every sure. two months. These are hanging on. I've had these for over a year now. Wow. It's insane. But That's yeah, great. you could you can see. I mean, yeah. I. Well, I've, yeah. I've definitely, these are well-loved. They still look great. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they're well-loved. That, that's what shape. I call those. They're in great shape. They still have the same flexibility, and and they still are just as comfortable as day one when you got them, I'm sure. No, absolutely. Well, and, and you brought up the point about the safety glasses. Yes. And um, that's, it's actually a really key point for me. Yep. Because... Um, I do, you know, my film and video business, we have a lot of construction clients, sure. and I'm out in the work zone where I have PPE. I've got hard hats and vests and steel-toed shoes, yep. and um, I've got clients who are saying I have to wear the safety glasses. Right. And it it was a game-changer when I was able to take my flying eyes right. out there yeah. and use them in the construction zone. I don't have to worry about it. One of the, one of the reasons why all of our lenses, uh, our non-prescription lenses, are uh, uh, polycarbonate is for that very reason. Now, this this is one of our other frame styles, it can't be safety certified because it doesn't have a side protection. Right. But these are the same lenses as 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 these. And so if you're worried about, say, a bird strike or an right. accident, you're not worried that these things are going to shatter uh, if you have something catastrophic happen. We've had a number of, of pilots over the years who've actually thanked us. They've contacted us after... Well, it, why don't you tell the story sure. about, because that's how I found you, is right. I saw the story on Facebook of this very thing. Yeah, so a um, uh, owner of a, a, of a turboprop aircraft was flying uh, 25,000 feet back from California to his home in Arizona, 300, almost 350 knots, uh, and his windshield failed catastrophically, and shards of, of you know, uh, windshield material, you know, cut their arms, cut, cut them. Uh, his wife was in the passenger seat, kids in the back seat, mm. and they're, we, they're wearing flying eyes. They, nothing happened to the frames. They could see the panel, hit the nearest button, emergency descent, and, and were able to survive that what could be a catastrophic event. I mean, 350 knots at 25,000 feet, that, the air that's coming into your face is far higher than the then the uh, uh, if you go jump out of an airplane, the terminal velocity is right. That wind in your face is going to be much lower than what they were experiencing. It was it was scary, um, but they were wearing our glasses and they were able to survive. That's amazing. And um, by the way, for you guys out there watching in the audience, um, we we are watching and we'll get to some of your questions if you want to. Uh, so just post your questions and and leave your comments. So now. We've talked about um, you know the safety aspect. Yes, of course. Let's talk about the science. Why sure. is it important for pilots to have uh, good sunglasses? So the UV light is actually uh, lower on the ground than it is in the air. The, the, the our atmosphere actually filters out a lot of UV light. So when you're in an aircraft. Uh, even in a in a private aircraft, uh, you're you know ten twenty thousand feet in the air. You're under it, under the flight levels. Uh, the the UV light is much stronger. When you're in the flight levels, when you're flying a jet, the UV light uh, is f really really strong. So you really always want to be wearing some kind some kind of eye protection, even if you're wearing uh, if even if you're not wearing our glasses. Any glasses uh, will give you uh, uh, good. UV protection. Uh, that's one of the reasons. So people, a lot of people are surprised that all sunglasses, all eyewear actually, uh, sold in the U.S., um, they're a medical device. We have a medical device permit, and it's a FDA-regulated product. Um, and the reason for that is if, if you had tinted lenses that didn't have any UV, UV protection and you go outside, you're actually going to be letting more UV light in to your eyes because your pupils will dilate because it's tinting, um, than you would without sunglasses at all. So it's an FDA-regulated product. They all are. And it's, it's 
they're going to give you uh, excellent protection against the sun, and that's that's true for all 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 uh, all glasses. Um, there's also a, a common misperception that uh, polarization blocks UV light, right? And it doesn't. Uh, polarization is meant to filter a certain angle of visible light. It's great for snow. It's great for water. Mm -hmm. uh, if you fish. Um, being able to see through the water and, and, and not see those reflections. Um, all of our glasses by default are non-polarized um, because it's not for, you know, pilots need to be able to see their PFD. Right. And uh, the LCD displays that are, that are on your panel actually have a polarized, polarizing filter on there. And if you have polarizing glasses uh, all of a sudden they're on, black. All of a sudden they're black. And so you can't see and you have to tilt your head and, and it's just, it's, it, there's no need to wear polarized, polarized lenses in the cockpit. Uh, additionally, uh, another thing that um, we recently discovered is that if you're trying to spot traffic um, and you're wearing polarized lenses, you may not see that glint, that glare off that other aircraft. Um, because polarized lenses block glare. And so it's all the more reason why you don't want polarized lenses. Um, one of the other things we offer as an option is, um, is a gradient tint, darker at the top, a little lighter at the bottom. And what that allows you to do is see the panel easier while you're still blocking the sunlight through the windshield. Now, can you get these done in prescription? Yeah, so they're all prescription yeah. compatible. Uh, yes. Well, as, as I personally can, yeah. can attest to, so right. um, I was able to get my flying eyes with prescription. Yep. Um, you know, as you can see. Um, <laughs> the other thing is that uh, since I'm a little older, then wait, how older? No, <laughs> I won't go there. <laughs> um, a little older, so uh, I actually have progressives. Yes. And um, so, and and flying eyes, I was able to get yep. my progressive lenses, and yep. uh, I use them all the time. I wear my flying eyes all the time as well. Yeah. Some uh, Al asked, um, can you get flying eyes in different tents as far yes. as the lenses? So yes. tell me about that. So we have uh, this is a, a mirrored sapphire. It's still a gray tent that you're actually looking through. Um, yeah, go ahead. I was say, Al. It's kind of hard to. Uh, yeah. Maybe in the sun, in the, I'm sorry, in the sun, in the, uh, yeah, actually hard to see, see it. Those, yeah, yeah, you can't really sapphire. see, I can see it live here. Yeah, yeah the it's program funny. monitor yeah. shows a little different. So uh, we also have a gradient, so gradient gray is our, and, and solid gray is our mo most popular, but we also have a gradient and solid uh, copper as well, oh, which is, yeah. um, yeah. which these is very popular. These are mine, I got the solid. Yep, the, yep. These and a are lot my of, favorites, so. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Nice, and these are gradient copper. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So um, the the glasses, the sunglasses are great, but you know what? I really, you know, sometimes I'm flying IMC, right. and I'm having to put these on yes. with the big old thick um, back, backs and everything else. Yeah. Tell me, when are you going to be able to give me just, and what do you call them? Not so, optical. So ophthalmic frames. Ophthalmic frames. Yeah, so if you just I want glasses, regular glasses. Yes. Uh, we are working on that. Uh, we hope to have those very, very soon. And different, different sizes as well, different shapes, uh, different sizes and shapes for men and women. So they're flattering to, to everybody. Right now, all of our frames are, are sunglass frames, and, they're, and they're, they were designed from the start to be very unisex, uh, flattering on men and women. But uh, our next goal is to have uh, sunglass frames that are geared more towards women and men separately as well. Okay. And, and as well as ophthalmic frames doing the same thing. Okay, I can't wait until that happens. Yes, and too. And, and somebody from the audience asked, um, from who's watching live, Mike yeah. asked to clarify about the prescription. Of course. If, if Mike out there wants prescription yep. flying eyes, what does yep. he have to do? So they can either go to our, well, they can go to our website. Uh, we have opticians around the country more and more every day that uh, you can buy our glasses and have them put prescription lenses into them. Uh, you can uh, additionally take our glasses to um, any optician that is, has a lab that is comfortable with doing prescription lenses in sunglass frames. Like, uh, it, however, if you go to a Lens Crafters or a uh, Costco, um, some of them have, uh, uh, they have a relationship, the bigger discount places have a relationship with, um, major eyewear brands and they won't do other things. But, but some of the more um, specialty opticians 
And I, it, basically any opticians that's comfortable with doing actual sunglass frames. And when I say sunglass frames, I mean that your ophthalmic frames are actually flat this way and 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 this right. way. And so what that what that means is it's it's very easy to uh, create a prescription lenses for those frames and then cut them out. And versus these, we need uh, and our optician and our lab actually needs to know exactly where your eyeballs are in order to create a, a lens that can go all the way, that you can look anywhere in that lens and see uh, and, and get, have your correction. And so uh, uh, that's, that's. All right, so that's how a pr yeah. prescription, and by the yeah. way, um, I mean, I took mine to Walmart. Right. And um, the first time. Yeah. Um, I won't do that again, but I mean, it was nice and cheap, well, but the, the lenses themselves were plastic and yes. I, I wasn't thrilled. And also they couldn't get them tinted dark enough for me. Yep. So yep. I, I don't know. So and, there's different types of lens materials as well. And what you don't want uh, is glass. Glass will shatter. And uh, typical plastic, inexpensive plastic lenses uh, that you would get uh, is a material called CR39. It is not impact resistant. It will shatter just like glass. Uh, on impact. Hmm. And so what you want is either polycarbonate or if you're getting prescription lenses, the best material is called Trivex. Um, it gives you the, the, um, the impact resistance of polycarbonate and the clarity of, of glass. It's, it's amazing material. It's, it's uh, very high quality. And that's what we recommend. Well, you got me a, a set. Um, yeah. That was that what that was? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, I could tell the difference yes. between the Walmart glasses and yes. those. That's for yeah. sure. And 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 and, and, and being able to actually cut out uh, and create a prescription lens uh, for this kind of a uh, uh, a frame is is difficult to do. And so instead of um, molding for a, a certain diopter, uh, these are actually uh, the 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 high the high end modern newest labs are actually for lack of a better way they're CC they're CNCing these these blocks of lenses and cutting them out to your prescription and then polishing oh, them. Okay. So, so that's how they can do that. Can you guys do transitions? Yes. Okay. Yeah, in fact, so uh, transitions is a photochromic. So it darkens in the sunlight, goes clear at night or, or uh, when, it's, when it's cloudy. Um, and there's only actually one brand and one model of transitions photochromic that actually works in the cockpit, and that's called transitions extra active. It's a little more expensive, but most labs and most Ooh. opticians can carry it. Transitions extra, extra active will actually darken in the cockpit. Hmm. And the, the reason uh, that most don't is they need not only UV light, but they need a lot of light in order for them to, to darken. And the Transitions Extra Active actually has two different layers of, of uh, tinting that, that actually do that. And they go completely clear, so you can wear them at night as well. Awesome. So with every pair of flying eyes glasses yep. that someone orders, yep. they get one of these really cool little yes. Cases. Well, so they'll get, they'll either get this. Uh, we also have a zippered hard case, uh, but this is uh, one of our newer cases that, that uh, they are, uh, they're not exclusive to us, but this, this particular one is exclusive to us in that um, it's made out of metal. It's actually very, oh, very oh, durable, wow. See, I thought very it, strong. I mean, it was very heavy, but yes. I didn't realize but it was made out of metal. Yeah, really, really strong. Obviously, durable. it's magnetic yeah. because you yep. can. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it comes with er, every every set of glasses comes with a microfiber cloth and uh, and uh, you know the sticker and information card. Uh, it's a lifetime warranty on the uh, on the frames. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a one year warranty on the lenses, and and. If you scratch them in the first year, although you, you're pretty yeah. hard on your glasses and, and you haven't scratched oh them. Oh man, I'm three. telling you, it's crazy. That's, that is amazing. But we'll, we'll, uh, yeah. we will cover the cost of replacing the lenses uh, through our website um, within the first year. We'll, we'll cover that. Uh, outside of a year, you can actually just buy new lenses and uh, from our website and replace them yourself if you like. I was going to say, you see that right there? That's where I walked into the flap of the Cessna. Oh, my God. And then this one right here, that's where they... Is it diamond shape? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's where they fell off my head in a gust of wind and actually landed on the ground. I mean, these have, things have, have been you, through so have much. Have you thought about not walking into Cessnas? I have not, actually. It's because no. you're a low-wing I'm a low-wing pilot, yeah. exactly. and so... 
So yeah. you have a, you I'm have not a used to bias. those high flaps. It's crazy. I know. I know. Okay. So what I'd like to do for a moment is um, I want to, to tell everybody here at In the Hangar and Taking Off that we are extremely proud to now be sponsored by Flying Eyes and Dean. So we will be um, endorsing these products. We use them. We use them for months before, you know, we've entered into anything. And, and uh, uh, I love when we find a product like this. And guys, it's not only just a great product. It's from somebody who is just like us in the aviation world. You're a pilot. Yeah. You fly yeah. Uh, small planes all the time. I do. So it's a passion for you, and, yes. and it's something that um, not only is a great product, you know, it, it, you're part of our community, and, and I think it's great that we can support that. So if you're looking at it and go, oh, well, they're expensive, at least you now know why they're expensive, and also you can be a part of the community. Well, I love that he's always looking for ways to improve the product, make the designs better, yep. you know, even less expensive, things like that. I mean, Dean, is he's really just ingrained not only in this product, but in aviation in general, and that's what I like about them. Um, okay, so somebody has asked Dean, yeah. how secure are these on your head? Because they almost look, because of that thin, maybe right. they're going to fall off and everything. Sure, sure. Well, that's actually part of the design of the, of the glasses being going around your head instead of over your ears. And so when you put these on, you can, you know, sorry my bald spot, but you can look <laughs> down, you can, you can look any way you like. Mm -hmm. They're not going anywhere. They weigh, um, it, what's surprising about these, these glasses is that even though they're safety rated, they, they weigh half an ounce, literally a half an ounce. Um, and wow. it's one of the reasons why they stay on your face is because there's no mass to them. They're not, you know, you can move your head any way you like. Look Traffic down. wear? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> And look, look anywhere you like, and they're not going anywhere. You're turning um, they, left at Fisk, and you can... Right exactly. right, exactly. Well, and like I said, so these are my actual glasses. I want everybody to know these are the actual glasses, of yes. course, that I've had. And, yep. I mean, they're still... They're had them for, so, you know, more for a over now. a year now. Yeah. So, yeah. unfortunately, okay. the, the lenses are, have expired on their warranty. But, nope. yeah, you, I mean, they're still they're great. <laughs> All right. So now um, let's do this. Um, we're going to give away a pair of flying eye sunglasses. So, Dean, show us what, and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna give it away to somebody watching at home, watching live on YouTube. We're gonna pick at random whoever's left a comment. So, you know, put those comments in real quick while Dean explains, What's, what, what have they won, Dean? <laughs> well, Dan, they've won. Uh, so these are the Kingfisher style uh, frame. Uh, Kingfisher uh, frame, which has a gradient tent lens, and um, just like all of our frames, millimeter thin, totally unbreakable, and uh, they go around your head and super comfortable under any headset or helmet. Okay, so that's what we're going to be giving the Fisher yep. King. Kingfisher. Kingfisher. Yeah, Kingfisher. Fisher yep. King was a movie. Yeah, that's with it. Robin Williams. That's right. Um, okay. And for those wondering, especially we've got some studio audience here that are feeling very left out. I don't want to leave you guys out. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow we will give away another pair of flying eye sunglasses to some lucky winner here in the studio audience. So come on out and uh, be a part of our a taping of all the shows tomorrow. So with that, Christy, close your eyes. I'll close my eyes. I'm just going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. Christy picks one. And... No, a little hard. Wait, you're at the bottom of the phone. Okay, there we go. She <laughs> picks. Okay, you can let go now. Okay. <laughs> Al Brasino. Al, you just won some yeah, flying eye sunglasses. Flying eyes kingfisher sunglasses. Okay, so Al, reach out to me on, on Facebook, the Taking Off uh, page on Facebook. Just reach out to me there. And uh, Al, I appreciate you uh, being a part of this audience and everything else. And I hope you enjoy your new Flying Eyes sunglasses. So with that, yes. I want to know uh, what's new for Flying Eyes? What's coming up in the future? Do you oh have gosh. anything you want to talk about or tell us? Well, um, we're working. We're always working on new frame styles, and we hope to have a lot of new, exciting things. I can't tell you what we're going to be introducing this summer, but we, we are working on a lot of new features, a lot of new styles, uh, ophthalmic frames like we mm -hmm. discussed. Um, and being at more and more events so that you can actually see them in person. One of the things that uh, that gets people is 
can they really do what they do? And so they're a little skeptical. But when we've had, when we've been at events such as the Reno Air Races, which we sponsor a bunch of race teams and pilots there, uh, or NASCAR, or or Oshkosh, uh, when they when people see them in person and see what they actually do, um, they're they're sold. Yeah. All right. Well, very cool. Um, I really appreciate you coming out and showing it. And more than that, I, I'm really so glad that we can partner up with you. Of course. We're really happy to sponsor you. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're happy to um, endorse this wonderful, wonderful product. Thank you. Okay. And speaking of endorsements, um, I do want to tell you guys that... Um, you know, normally OCD is a really bad thing, and you don't want to be around uh, maybe somebody in your family that's OCD. But when it comes to your aircraft and your engine and your maintenance, OCD is a great thing. And another sponsor, our title sponsor now, is Wingfield Aviation. And these guys are OCD in a good way. So I highly recommend you guys, if you need your aircraft maintained, they're centrally located in North Texas. So you fly in from both sides, both coasts, and, uh, and let the guys at Wingfield Aviation take care of you. So with that, I'd like to uh, conclude our first episode of season four in the hangar and uh, appreciate all you guys. See you next time.